I can't help but admire doctors. You have to search a long time to find a profession requiring more education, more determination, and longer hours. The responsibilities are enormous. Doctors are called upon to perform difficult procedures and handle emergency cases at any hour of the day. So why do they do it? Why do these men and women dedicate themselves to such a demanding field? It can't simply be for the money. There are many easier ways to make a living. For most, it's because they want to make a difference. They want the opportunity to have a profound effect on someone. And occasionally, they do more than just save a life. They change it. What is it now, Laney? I, um, I finished writing up the progress reports on those last patients. All of them? All of them. So, um, now I was wondering if I could uh, follow you on your rounds? No. Now you can fill out the discharge and transfer forms for these next patients. Right now? Right now. But couldn't I just follow you on one round before I have to... Laney. Laney. I said fill out the forms now. Yes, Dr. Stokes. Hey, Lainey. Oh, no. Looks like someone had another run-in with Dr. Stokes. Oh, I've had it with this place, Maya. Oh, me too. Thank God it's our last day before spring break. No, I mean, I've really had it with this. All of this. This is not what I signed on for. Chasing around after some pompous intern who doesn't want to teach me anything. Spending my whole call doing scut work. I came to this place to help people. Now I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Well, you can't be thinking of dropping out of med school now. My work all just feels so meaningless, so pointless. I'm just going to have to do some serious thinking about whether or not I want to stay. Well, maybe you'll get to sort things out over vacation. Anyway, let's go get a quick cup of coffee before next rounds. Maybe later. Right now, I need to see a patient. Mr. McKenzie, I have a very special treat for you today. It is a poem by Emily Dickinson called Hope is the Thing with Feathers. It made me think of you. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard, and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that keeps so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. Now, Mr. McKenzie, I'm going to be going back home soon. And I won't be back to visit you for a while. But I still want you to come back. You need to come and see your wife. You know, she was hurt in that car accident, too. And she'd be down here by your side right now if she wasn't still in traction. She's up there in that hospital bed waiting for you, Mr. McKenzie. And just like in this poem... Hope still sings in your soul. Hey, Lainey. Hold up. Hey. So this is it? You're just giving up. I tried, Maya. I really tried. I thought about it all week. But I just don't feel like this is the way for me to make a difference in the world. I just need to go off and find what's important to me, you know? So now what? Now I have to break the news to Dr. Stokes. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. Ruthie, it was the most incredible experience. At first, when that truck hit us, everything just went black. I was sure it was all over. But later I heard this voice. I was sure it was an angel coming to take me away. An angel? Honey, you saw an angel? I could feel her holding my hand and stroking my hair. I could hear her soft voice. She told me the most wonderful stories and recited the most beautiful poetry. 
But then she told me I had to come back for you. Ruthie, she said that you were hurt and scared. I had to come back. That hope still sings in my soul. Oh, Mr. McKenzie. I'm sorry, can we help you? Oh, no, no, no. You two have already helped me more than you'll ever know. Thank you. Miss. Thank you. Thank you for the afternoon readings. Goodbye, Mr. McKenzie. Running a little late, Laney? Sorry, Dr. Stokes. Any progress notes for me to fill out today? As a matter of fact... Thank you. Welcome back, Laney. I'm glad to be back, Maya. 